Good morning. It is Sunday. It's a slow start to Sunday. It's like 11 o'clock. We got up, we had breakfast. I made cinnamon rolls and mango and we watched church and Peyton has tennis at noon. So we have to get ready because we're going to leave in like 30 minutes to walk over. So I washed my face. I put sunscreen on my face um, and fixed my hair and put a hat on, but I have not I haven't gotten dressed yet, so there's all of that happening right now. Some sweatpants, a hoodie, all of the fun stuff. This is the laziness that's happening in my house. Hi! I've been here all day. We're all very lazy today. I don't... Lately, the last couple Sundays have just been... We, we really sit around and relax and don't do a whole lot of anything. There's a hula hoop over there. That's fun. So... Um, I used it a little bit. Oh yeah, she used it a little bit this morning and then and then she died on the couch. So I'm gonna go get dressed. We touched on the garden already. Oh, and look, this is our little sprouts in here. And we have all these little lettuce sprouts here. There's some carrots. Our cilantro has not sprouted yet, but it's it's almost there. I can see like the tops of green coming up, so. I need to make my bed, make Peyton's bed, get dressed, and pack some snacks and water for tennis. Um, so we're gonna go do that. So we put the dogs outside Two. so they could run and get their energy out before we leave to play tennis. Uh -huh. and Where are they, Pee? Relaxing, chilling. Excuse me. You're supposed to be running. Mm -hmm. Get up. <laughs> Tell them, say, you lazy dogs. You. You. Okay. We left a few minutes late, but we are on our way to tennis. We've got a string cheese snack. I've got My a little. Her foot feels horrible. Her foot feels horrible. A little made good snack. She says she's got something in her sock and her oh sock is twisted. <laughs> and we've got our waters. Where's your water? <sighs> We're ready for tennis. Okay. We don't live far from the tennis courts. Um, they're, it's actually in our community. So <gasps> it's hot out though today. It's got to be at least 90. Uh -huh. It's toasty here in Florida. So we're going to get mommy's getting a little workout while we walk over. And baby's going to play some tennis. And we got our matching hats. We're ready for the day. All right, it is, what time is it? 1.34, so her lesson, uh, <laughs> she's so tired. I don't feel good. <laughs> it's very hot out here. Um, her lesson was at noon. They were supposed to play for 30 minutes. They actually played for an hour. Um, so that was really good. They had them running and I will um, put some clips in, but it was so much fun. They are an independent company that comes to like communities that have tennis courts and teach lessons. So they are actually, um, depending on how much the turnout was, how many people came, would be if they were gonna do like a, a permanent fixture here in the community. And we actually had over a hundred people come today to play, which is very exciting. Um, we never have that many people out on the courts or the pickleball court or anything like that. So very exciting. And I talked to the guy who runs it and they are going to set up a camp for the kids. So they're gonna do something either after school or on the weekends through the end oh, of the school year. Good. Oh goodness, we gotta get home. Um, through the end of the school year. And then in the summer, they wanna do like a half day camp where they play tennis and then um, let them go and splash around in the pool after um, type thing. So the parents would obviously have to come for like the second half of it, but um, something like that. So a lot of fun. Peyton played her little tennis heart out, right? And they had her running. They were doing like drills on the tennis court. It was oh, so cute. I don't feel good. She just had ice cream too. So her lips are all red. <laughs> so we, we have two more bridges to cross, then we're home and she's gonna, we're both gonna die. <laughs> right? We're so tired. She's gonna watch YouTube. <laughs> she's gonna watch YouTube. YouTube wakes me up. <laughs> So I'll insert a clip now of her fun in the sun with tennis.
And we came home and laid on a nice cold floor because <laughs> it's so hot. Mm. And someone got ice cream on their shirt. <laughs> so she's going to change. I look like a boy with these hairs out. <laughs> I look like a cootie with all these curls coming out. She's so sweaty, all her hair is turning curly. Mm. So we're going to cool down. And then. I cut that hair down! We're going to cool down and then. Oh, I'm going to get so the rest good. of my stuff done around the house. But first. We get to a normal temperature because right now I'm like a thousand degrees. How about you? I'm a million. It's hot out there. I was out in the sun more than her. Yeah, you was. You was playing tennis. Oh. Huh. Look over here. Okay, so it is 6.15. I'm cooking dinner. So I just finished putting away the, gro the my groceries. I'm seeing it's Sunday. I'm tired. The washing the dishes. So um, let's talk about dinner. Um, tonight I'm doing a shrimp alfredo, but we're not using, uh, normally we use a spaghetti, um, but we're going to use, we're using shells tonight, so they're already bubbling away in the water. Uh, I did use pre-cooked, um, tail on frozen shrimp, just to make it a little bit easier, quicker of a dinner. Not that shrimp takes that long to cook, but this way you really just have to warm it up. So I just add a little garlic, a little salt, mix it up. Those are good to go. Um, and then the sauce is this Simply Organic Alfredo sauce. We love this one. You just use the milk of your choice, um, uh, butter, and Parmesan cheese. We add a little bit of mozzarella just to make it a little creamier. And then I always put in a scoop of the salted pasta water as well into the sauce. Also helps to make it rich and creamy as well. So um, our shrimpy here is getting going. I just turned them on because they really only take a couple of minutes and I don't want them to be, to be waiting on them either. So I like to have them ready and then I just kind of leave them on the pan. Don't overcook your shrimp. They will shrink. These are medium shrimp. And if you overcook them, they're going to look like a small, a small, a small shrimp. I can't talk today. Um, so we don't overcook them. We just give them a little warm up and these are done, especially since this these ones are pre-cooked, so um, you really don't have to do much to them other than season and warm. So um, we're gonna get this all going, and then I have some French bread here. We're gonna make some Italian bread on the griddle, which I just butter both sides. Put some garlic powder on one side, flip them over, and they are good to go. And that is a Sunday night dinner. So um, I have to dye my hair after dinner to, to be ready for my meeting tomorrow. I have a couple other things to do later on tonight and then bedtime as usual. Peyton goes to bed at 8 and I'll probably go to bed with her just so I'm well rested for tomorrow. I want to get up early and do my bike ride before she wakes up. So I'll show you what dinner looks like once it's done, but let me get back to cooking. Okay, this is our finished dinner. So this Alfredo sauce isn't as thick as your normal Alfredo sauce. It will thicken up a little bit the longer you let it stand. So I, I did take it out and assemble it all. That way it does have about five to 10 minutes to stand before David gets home. So it will thicken up a little with all the cheese and everything in it. So this is our shrimp Alfredo and then the garlic bread just came off as well. So this will be dinner. So I'm gonna let this stand for a couple minutes and then we'll plate and serve. And then I'm gonna dye my hair. Okay guys, we are going to end the video here. It is 8.56. I said I was going to dye my hair after dinner and I didn't. Um, Peyton and I ate longer than I thought we were going to. We had way more helpings of food than we should have. And then she had to take a bath and go to bed. So before I knew it, it was just too late to dye my hair. I wouldn't be able to put her to bed. So this is happening now at nine o'clock at night. I'm dyeing my hair. And then I have about 30 minutes left of this. And then I have to jump in the shower, dry my hair, and go to bed and get some rest before tomorrow. So I hope you all enjoyed this uh, vlog. I hope you enjoyed all the fun we had at Peyton's Tennis. It was such a blast doing that. And um, we're gonna sign her up for a six week group. I don't know if it's gonna be after school or on the weekends, but definitely something that we're going to do since she had so much fun and her little friend had a blast also. And I think it's gonna be joining her. So that is going to be happening soon. And um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notifications. 
um, and leave a comment down below of what your favorite part of our video was. Um, and also don't forget, we are uploading on a new schedule now. So we are doing vlogs Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday is grocery hauls and Sunday is clean with me's. Also on Tuesdays and Thursdays is blog posts. So we have a lot happening content for everyone. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I am going to sit down and let this dye work its magic and cover up that gray hair. We will see you in the next one. Bye,